Crawford made viral waves and incited tons of polarized reactions across social media when he posted pics debuting an outrageously long, unconventionally tailored varsity jacket. The bizarre outfit promptly got savagely roasted by dozens of fans and haters alike. This seemed like a simple banter that fans have whenever they see a celebrity wearing a weird outfit. Celebrities often don't react to such comments because they are pretty confident about their looks and outfits. But the normally mild-mannered Crawford clapped back ferociously at the criticism, questioning when men started worrying so much about another man's clothing in 2023. He basically gave a big reality check to all the fashion police trolling him online for daring to push boundaries. Honestly, Crawford is right here. Men aren't supposed to spend their whole day on Twitter and gossip about someone's outfit or love life. They're supposed to work jobs, earn money, and mind their own freaking business. Anyways, we're going to break this whole viral situation down in detail, analyzing Crawford's outside-the-box outfit itself, along with examining his fiery retorts. Does Bud make compelling points defending his right to wear whatever he wants despite mockery? Or has the new celebrity status since conquering Errol Spence gone to his head a bit? Let's jump right into this light-hearted and amusing update on Terence Crawford's attention-grabbing leap into avant-garde style. All right, let's set the stage by first describing the attention-grabbing appearance of Crawford that simultaneously dazzled and baffled fans across social media platforms. In an Instagram story spree last week, intended to showcase a bold new look, Crawford revealed himself modeling an extremely oversized, long-tailed red-and-white varsity jacket paired with skinny jeans and Christian Louboutin boots. The varsity jacket in question stretched down nearly to Crawford's knees, bearing closer resemblance to a Buckingham Palace guard trench coat cut in a collegiate style. Fans could even spot the Reese's boxing logo stitched onto one sleeve in photos. Never one to shy from cameras, Crawford struck various poses while sporting dark designer sunglasses, hands stuffed casually into the lengthy jacket's pockets as it draped off his 5'8", welterweight frame, funnily. Now, in fairness, the former pound-for-pound -pound king can usually get away with bolder fashion selections thanks to blessed genetics providing natural swagger. But this latest varsity jacket flick clearly crossed normal stylistic boundaries. It just didn't sit well with Twitter users, who came in massive numbers to troll Crawford for his unique and rather unconventional fashion sense. It set off a firestorm of responses across social platforms from his million-plus followers. They were rather polarized reactions, ranging from praise to roasts. While some fans complimented Crawford for boldly pulling this avant-garde statement piece off, a certain section of commenters ripped into Bud mercilessly, mocking everything from the jacket's ridiculous dimensions to his overall styling. Crawford initially ignored the fashion haters, but the criticism ultimately crossed a line into more personal attacks and questioning his confidence, at which point the champ came out swinging. Normally, one to let his fists send messages. Crawford took the supremely unusual step of directly addressing the sea of followers trolling his couture selections on Twitter. Rather than defending specifics of the outfit itself, however, Crawford posed a blunt, savage question in response. Since when did grown man start caring about what another grown man has on? Essentially inferring that no self-respecting adult male should even waste energy critiquing how another dude chooses to dress himself in 2023. He doubled down accusing detractors of adopting female traits for harping extensively on his jacket. That's a bit sexist, but it was a much-needed counter-argument in this situation. While not outright defending the style appeal of his updated wardrobe, Crawford firmly rejected notions that fans had any grounds to judge or offer commentary on it, period. In essence, Crawford took a principled stand on menswear freedom of expression, no matter how radical or boundary-pressing it may push contemporary tastes. He refused to bend to social media mobs trying to force athletes to stop experimenting with their outfits and wear the same boring traditional outfits. The champ's defiant message was clear as day. 
Real men don't tear down other men over harmless fashion choices or preferences. Worrying that much about another man's jacket in 2023 represents distorted priorities. So that brings us to the juicy debate and discussion point. Does Terence Crawford raise legit counter-arguments against the droves of detractors poking fun at his avant-garde varsity jacket ensemble? Or do his indignant reactions expose a cockier, more sensitive side fans rarely glimpse? On one hand, Crawford surely has a reasonable point asking why any guys genuinely care what type of clothes another grown adult elects to cover himself with. Within reason, at least. One of his core principles has always been letting his performances speak far louder than images or words. So Crawford encouraging society to show equal respect and tolerance for disparate fashion perspectives carries noble undertones at heart. Live and let live. Even if the apparel choice goes against your personal grain aesthetically. However, the other side of the coin suggests Crawford might be going slightly overboard playing the victim card here when he willingly embraced fame's double-edged sword. Part is the champ exhibiting a lack of self-awareness. When you amass over one million social media followers as an undefeated boxer of his magnitude, scrutiny and criticism inevitably follow regardless, fair or unfair. You lose the privilege of fading anonymously into crowds. The trade-off for lucrative sponsorships and a massive fan following. By willfully nurturing his own celebrity through showmanship and viral stunts like marathon press conferences, Crawford opened the floodgates welcoming public commentary and judgments, positive and negative. While the onslaught of attacks likely exceeded reasonable thresholds of decency, Crawford drawing the line and setting boundaries regarding permissible feedback contradicts precedents he helped set. You can't exploit fame's perks and then cry privacy when blows get candid. So while I respect Crawford's champion standard mentality and stylistic self-confidence, he occasionally goes a bit too overboard with his reaction to criticism. Perhaps staying above petty phrase completely works better than lowering standards trying to justify his reactions here. Bud should feel empowered wearing whatever keeps him warm at night Hollow scoffs be damned. But that street runs both directions regarding criticism. The recent clapbacks operate counterproductively giving superficial haters undeserved attention. Crawford wins by avoiding losing chess matches with pigeons. Ultimately, the champion's ever-evolving wardrobe and ensuing viral headlines speak for themselves, exactly as intended. We all took the clickbait bait, exposing Bud knows how to capture public intrigue through provocation. Wherever the next several years take him fighting or fashion-wise, all eyes remain fixated on Terence Crawford. Here's my in-depth take on Bud Crawford's polarizing varsity jacket debut and subsequent refusal to allow critiques to shape his style decisions. Definitely drop comments on your stance. Did Crawford have valid points calling out fashion-thirsty men? Or do the viral clapbacks expose oversensitivity as fame swells? In my opinion, Terence Crawford should be respected for holding it down on his own terms. That's all for today, folks. This has been your host signing off until the next spicy boxing update. Till then, smash the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this update. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we post an update on our channel. So, goodbye boxing lovers.